Let's look at oxygen's uh, molecular orbital energy level diagram. I've dri uh, drawn part of it out for you. So let's go ahead and just uh, start at the bottom here. So we know that oxygen has eight electrons, six valence electrons. Okay, and um, they're both the same. So let's fill in the lowest energy levels first. I'm going to put electrons here. So this is going to be sigma 1s. This is going to be sigma star 1s. We'll do the same with our 2s. One goes here and one of these goes here. So this is going to be sigma 2s and sigma star 2s. Now the 2p is a little more complicated and I want to mention to you that there is small 2s 2px interaction. So what that means is that the lowest energy level When the P gets split up here, we're going to have 2PZ. That's going to be our sigma, 2PZ. And then, again, lower than the P on each side, we're going to have pi, 2PX, and pi, 2P, why? Again, because we have that small 2s, 2px interaction. All right, then we're going to have our antibonding orbitals. That's going to be at our higher energy. This um, is going to be pi star 2px and pi star 2PY, and finally, we're going to have sigma star 2PZ at our highest energy. And so, um, just like we did previously, we put the lower, uh, fill the lower energy levels first. And so we have, for the P electrons, we have four from this oxygen, four from this oxygen, so that's a total of eight. So that's two, that leaves us six more. So we would fill those because those are the same energy. We would um, half fill them first and then go back and fill them up completely. So that's two, four, six. That leaves us with one electron here and one electron here. I'm going to go ahead and draw my dotted lines. Uh, there is nothing on the sigma star 2pz level. Okay, so now we're ready to find the bond order and the number of bonds. You probably already know that oxygen is double bonded. So let's go ahead and do that. If we were to count up the electrons, we could see that we could take one half of the bonding electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pairs, so that's 10 electrons, minus the antibonding, that's 1 pair, 2 pairs, so that's 4, 5, 6. So that's going to be uh, 10 minus 6 is 4, 1 half of that is 2, so that's our bond order. The number of unpaired electrons, 
is uh, 2. And so because they're unpaired, and then it is paramagnetic. The bond length is going to be uh, kind of in the middle. The bond association energy is also in between what you would have for... Um, So let's draw this out. Bond length is going to be um, shorter than F2, longer than N2. So it's in between bond association energy uh, and bond strength. It's going to be weaker than N2, stronger than F2. And that goes based on the bond order. F2's bond order is 1, N2's bond order is 2. If we were to look at the um, electron configuration, we're just going to list all of these. So we have sigma 1s, 2 electrons. Sigma star, 1s, 2 electrons. Then we're going to go up here to sigma 2s, 2 electrons. And then sigma 2s star, 2 electrons. OK, we're going to keep right on going. Sigma 2pz, and that's going to be 2 electrons. And then we're going to have pi, we're just going to go right in order, 2px, and that's going to be 2 electrons. And then we're going to have pi 2py, 2 electrons, 2 more to go, pi 2px, that's going to be 1 electron, we're going to show the 1. And um, that's going to be star as well as 2px. And then lastly, pi 2py. That's going to have one electron, and that's going to get the star also because that's antibonding. If we were going to compare the O2 molecule to the O2 ion, let's take a look at that. So that would be adding two extra electrons to make it O2 minus. So we would be adding an electron here and here. And so those would be antibonding. So this would be 10 minus 8 divided by 2. So that's a bond order of 1. So that would be a bond order of 1. So therefore, it would be shorter. I'm sorry, longer, because it's a bond order of 1. So it would be longer, and it would be weaker than um, O2. So now let's compare O2 to O2 plus 1. So in this case, we would be taking away an antibonding electron. So it would be 10 minus 5. So our bond order would be 2.5. So it would actually be shorter than O2 and stronger than O2.